What's up everybody, Elorum here, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And today we're starting off by going to turn in this mission. Now yeah, you'll see, uh... He's probably... Yeah, the Prince, yay. Let's go do it. At least we get to see our buddy, though. I know I don't always talk to him. He's got some good dialogue coming up. He's a real good guy. Evening there. Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt your burgers. I don't smell anything. I've got an appointment. Uh, sure, I'll open her up for you. Ah, jeez, I could go for one of them double spaced burgers. With the onions and the cheese and some bacon and a guacamole. Ooh. Thanks. Uh, not sure how guacamole would be on Cheeseburger. I'd be willing to try it though. If it's something you eat on cheeseburger, let me know. Man. I'd like to have a place like this. The primogens still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you are not supposed to come back until we have heard from him. If the Primogen want to hear from Grout, tell them to hold a seance. Grout's dead. What? Who's Bach? He tried to murder me up, and he really hates you. Bach! Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Bok didn't know Grout was dead. Bok is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? <clears throat> You'd let me finish. Let you finish? With whom do you presume you're speaking? I was just gonna add, I saw Nines there. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? No, and I'm not sure it was Nines either. Something was weird. It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. You're becoming quite indispensable to me. So, out of all my available personnel, I'm going to entrust the retrieval of the sarcophagus to you. It was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. Wait up. Let me finish. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. All these tests left me a little short on cash. Yes, of course. Uh, here. I can't have one of my representatives running around ill-equipped for their task. Now that I'm paid, I'm leaving. I'm through jumping through hoops. I have methodically calculated a solution to each dilemma thrust upon our community. And I don't have the time to paint your tiny mind its place in the big picture for each and every instance. So either serve your function, or get out of my sight.
Ooh! <laughs> Shove the Camarilla, the Sarcophagus, and your Gorilla up your ass. Goodbye. Show him out. <laughs> I don't know why it made me say but. What we got here? Does that mean I no longer have to work for him? Did I just break free of working for him? Ooh, this is, where do I go from here? I've never did this before. Okay. Head to our apartment. Well, head get some money first, then the apartment. We need to go talk to Nines. Cause, uh, yeah, I have no clue what we're going, what we're supposed to do now. Holy crap. Did I maybe find a way to quit working for the Prince? Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Nice, keep it coming. Experience we got, we got seven. One more, we can up strength again. Oh boy, I don't know about y'all, but this is kind of worrying. Maybe something happened to you. I shouldn't even think such a thing. I mean, if you disappeared, how could I go on? But you're here now. I'm so glad when you're near me. Calm down, my pet. <sighs> this feeling. It's... It's love. Oh, all I can feel is love for you. And I for you, Heather. I almost forgot. I got a college loan check today. Here, I want you to take some of the money. College loan money. You can't take... I can't take this. You can't drop out. I'd rather you kept it. I think I'm going to drop out of school. You know, so I can watch over you during the day or run errands for you. It's the least I can do to earn my keep. No, keep your money and stay in school. You mu this must remain a secret. Never speak of me. Anything for you. <sighs> for now, share your blood with me. With pleasure. It's all mine. Uh, 
I think she enjoyed that. What do y'all think? Share computer while we're here. <sighs> Bishop is sacrificed for the king. Looks like we got some stuff to sell to Fat Larry. Whew. Well, we haven't been attacked by the Princess people yet, so that's good. Swing by Fat Larry on the way to Nines. We'll decide where to go from there. Fat Larry. My man, what is up? I need to do some shopping, Larry. Yo, yo, yo. Koala ears, lazy eye hammocks, and dwarf saddles right here, only here. Yo, 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 I got dinosaur eggs. We don't know what kind. Buy them and hatch them. Yo, man, got a Galapagos turtle this week only. Yo, 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 koala ears, lazy eye hammocks, and dwarf saddles right here. Only All right. What is this? Ah, oh, that's the blood bot one. Not this one. Hey, hey, I wonder if we have to go back and talk to the prince again. Or do we have to go accept the mission? I guess I guess I never actually took that line of uh, talk with the prince. Showing up here, Lick. What did I do? You think her nice. Said he killed a goddamn primitive. I just saw him there, at least I think I did. I'm willing to believe you were a patsy in all this, but I'll be watching you here. Where'd nines go? Don't expect to see him until this bullshit is. Where's Nines now? I hear Nines got word. I'd wait till he's gonna be laying low for a while. Well, the Anarchs will stand up. Yeah, there, right? sure, but there's packs of youngsters out there who'd love to make a name by bringing in the head of Nines Rodriguez. <laughs> what can I do to help? <laughs> he just, he can please. Me. I can give a goddamn kid, but I'm sure the boys here would appreciate it if you kept it business as usual. You hear me? I can do that. Yeah, I don't think I can. I mean, 
and I did tell the prince where he could shove everything. Uh, so I do think that might make it a little hard to keep things business as usual. The only other missions I have is Santa Monica ones. Uh, maybe we can get to uh, the next part. Santa Monica in downtown. So try talking to the prince. Funny if we just locked everything up now, wouldn't it? Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. <gasps> Did you, uh, cover me, Tubbs! Huh? Well, oh, must have dozed after a minute. Those who scorn me are not often given a second chance to return to my favor. Make your case quickly. Won't happen again, my sincerest apologies. Your youth and ignorance are hardly an excuse for your impudence. But I still have use of you. See that it never happens again. The only use for two olive branches is kindling. Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. Ready to go. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. Excuse me. Alright. I can't believe we had to go back and apologize. What the heck? What is up with that? If you're going to let me take and tell them to sh where you can stick it, give me a storyline option. That goes beyond that. Other than that, get told, hey, keep things going as status quo. But what the heck? Going somewhere? Yeah, let's go. I'm actually going over to Santa Monica first, though. <coughs> See if there's any new missions out here we can get. Sure. It's a nice night out, huh? Yeah, it's a nice night. Uh, there is a mission for one of the dudes. Hey, man! And Alex, what's going on? Yeah, not much. Just waiting around for my master. The master you can't talk about? Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about it. Oh man, his name's Bertram Toe. He's a Nosferatu. What do you do for him? Oh man. Wow. Bertram had me keeping an eye on this guy. This Asian dude who's been poking around Santa Monica. Bertram thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. So what's the problem? Oh man, this guy, this, this 
thing got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around me all the time, like off in the distance watching me, he'll walk up next to me. Oh man, and oh, disappear. Want me to take care of it? Hell yeah! Right on! Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I get so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. I'll look into it for you. Right on! Just come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. Alright, I'll see ya. This one is a good one. I have a chance of getting a really good weapon. California Nervous Lessons name is Crump. Alright, let's see. Check over here real quick. Did you miss me? Judging by the way the board's lit up, I'd say you couldn't live without me. You make me feel so desirable, LA. So many callers, so little time. If you don't get through to me tonight, don't let it break your heart. I'm here each and every AM. So keep dialing those magic numbers and just maybe you'll be as lucky as this caller. What's your name, Night Owl? Hello, Deb. This is Greg. Hello, Greg. Up late, aren't we? Well, there, Deb. I work a night shift here at the power plant, pretty much alone. And the only thing that gets me through this shift is your pretty little voice. Thank you, Greg. Why, well, I imagine if you was half as pretty as your voice, okay. uh, you're the prettiest woman in the city. Aren't you the gentleman? See, what exactly do I gotta type in to get this? There we go. I'm too. Too much information. Caller, you're whiling away the evening with the Deb of Night. Good evening, Deb. Yes, I think that's implied by the title of the show. So he's at the morgue. Back off. Yeah, back off. Back off, back off. Pick us yet? Nope. Oh, that requires a nine. Let's see. I think actually it's in this area. There you go. from heart failure person items in storage B Richard, 
Yeah, that's him, all right. Yeah, that's him, all right. Storage B. And storage B. Um, pretty sure it's not up this way, but we'll block it away. Oh, that's this one. Okay, nope, not in here. Looking for clues here. I find storage B. That's this room. So we go through there. I don't see this being storage B. And all these rooms up here where the guard is. I hate dealing with it. Come on, get up here. Up we go. Check everything up here right now. Where's storage B? I'm not misunderstanding where I need to look. down here. temperature controls. Uh, 
Let's head back through here. Take a look at that again. See if it's an axe up. Some open. Yeah. Maybe this stuff's in here. Who knows? boxes. That's where we gotta go. Just head up this way. Just easy to get out up here. What's the hot? Alright, now we get to go have some fun. be a way to get in that place at some point. I guarantee you I've never got all the missions on here. Here's Foxy Boxes. Before we go in though we are going to save because I'd hate to lose all of the progress we've made because this is about to be a fight. I've done it before. I actually did it in the Venture playthrough and got one of my favorite weapons. Um, Lilith actually did it too and got a different weapon. I'm hoping I get the same weapon I got last time. Personally. Let's do this. Hold on. We do all that. There is a computer here that can be hacked. Natural observation of the city indicates the canines here are both scattered and unorganized. There are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of street. I shall continue to watch and listen. The Knights are a curious and fragile race. They waste the gift of their immortality on petty skirmishes and fleshy gain, fleshly gain. We will have little problems making the city our own. I think y'all are probably getting the idea of what's going on. It seems that my presence here has been noted by one of the canines, a Nosferatu, I believe they are called. He has entrusted the responsibility of my surveillance to a bumbling mortal fool. I have begun to follow this so-called spy, a small amusing respite from my usual duties. I have drawn the attention of a newcomer, the agent of the, an agent of the prince, who has discovered the corpse of 
individual from. I know very little about this individual, but they seem much more resourceful than most canines I have observed. I will prepare myself in the event that our paths cross because an altercation seems imminent. If I do not survive, let my last report state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. We'll find little resistance if we come in force. So yeah, what's going on is the guy we're following has been sent here to see about if they can take over the area. So let's go. And here he is. Come on, dude. Twenty-two, twelve, one, two. Uh, it's not as good as the axe. But we're keeping it. There is another one later on in the game. I say that it does look so cool. Hill up. For that, we'll go turn this mission in. I'm keeping the sword, especially because I want to use it. Um, if we get into a situation where the sword's not enough, I mean, it's only like a little weaker than the axe, so we'll switch it over when we need to. Look, Manson Wannabe, get out of the way. Fucking man. Hello. Hey! So, like, how are you doing on that thing we talked about? I did it. You don't have to worry about it anymore, and you should get rid of this. Oh, big god! Oh, man! Yeah! Like every night. Look, still haven't heard anything from Bertram. Sorry, okay? I'll still let him know, but for now, I have no way to repay. Any idea what the thing was? Bertram said it's like a vampire. Different, you know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. He said lots of them have been coming to California for some reason. I don't know. That's interesting. I better be going. Alright, before we leave, I do want to go up and see our lovely friend. It's always good to come see her. It is pleasure. I mean, a pleasure to see you again. Good to see you, as always, Jeanette. Goodbye, or what's going on? Let's find out what's going on in Santa Monica. The tide goes out, the tide comes in, and then it waves goodbye again. It'll take me a few years to wake this city up. Are you lonely? Oh, sweetheart, desperately these nights. I'm just a lonely little girl on a rainy day. No any games we can play. I know something we can do, but I'm not sure it's possible. Oh, well, it's a little different, but entirely possible. Come sit next to me on the bed. I'll show you.
I'm actually surprised they put that in this game, but I, I really hope they put something equivalent to it in Bloodlines 2. Oh, but that is all the time I have for recording. I do want to thank y'all for watching. If you have enjoyed what you saw here, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and want to see more. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I put videos up. Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys, and I always do my best to reply back. Also, I want to thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you next time.